So I have a little bit of a confession. Uh, I have become obsessed with remotes lately. I have discovered that I can connect everything to remotes. And this might not be surprising for most of you, but for me, I'm a little old school. I've just been doing everything by pressing the buttons and all that, but now I can control everything. Let's say I wanna turn that light off. That's highlighting the, the computer. I can turn it off. I can also turn the colors, whatever I want. And let's say I wanna turn the overhead lights off. Well, I can turn those off too, no problem. And it is the coolest thing. I even have a controller for my camera and I can control the recording just like this. See, all I have to do is press this button. Whoops, um, yeah, about that. Anyways, I know that's not why you're here for this video. So in, in this video, we are gonna go over some really cool kind of hidden presets that Lightroom doesn't really tell you about. And they are actually quite awesome. So let's get into it. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. It is always good to see you here learning all of the editing tips, tricks, and things and whatnot stuff. So here we are in Lightroom and I have already edited this photo. Here's the before, here's the after. Now a lot of people ask, how do I make my photos pop off the image? How do I make them really stand out from other images? And that's by creating depth, creating that three dimensional look that, well, a Realistically, a photograph technically doesn't have because it's two dimensions. But by creating depth, by using these tricks, you can actually create that depth. So here's what I did with this photo. I simply applied my Summer Breeze preset, which is from my Exploring Photography preset pack on my website. And then I made a few tweaks, lowered the oranges, faded out the tone curve, gave it a little up curve here. You can see that. And I just made a few tweaks to really make it look really good. Now, this is from a shoot that I did, a little styled shoot. This, our model was named Anna and she was absolutely amazing. I'll link her Instagram below so you can go check her out. But here's what we're gonna do to make this image stand out. And these are awesome. So first, we're gonna go to the masks. We're going to do some local adjustments, obviously. The first thing we're gonna do is press subject and we are going to simply brighten that up. Gonna brighten her up a little. Then we're going to go to the three dots, click duplicate and invert. We're gonna get an exact duplicate of that mask backwards so we can darken up the background. Immediately, she's popping off the screen a lot more. We're gonna to go to the, her mask here, lower, because she's a little bit bright, maybe drop the highlights down a little bit. Perfect. Then we're gonna press M on the keyboard. That will give us a linear gradient. We're gonna pull it up right here. Just darken this up. Beautiful. Now we are getting somewhere, but we're still missing something. And I haven't actually shown you the reason for this video. So we're gonna soften her skin. And now you might think, oh, I know how to do that. But I bet you don't know this trick. So you go to mask, let's go to create mask, go to people. Then we're gonna select her. We're gonna select facial skin and body skin. We're gonna press create mask. Then we're going to go to the top here where it says preset gonna click this, we're gonna scroll down till we see soften skin. Now you can do soften skin or soften skin light. I found that soften skin is pretty aggressive. So I always stick with soften skin light, but let's look at what both do. So here's soften skin, let's turn off the overlay. And you can see it's, it's dramatic, it's a lot. So let's do soften skin light. And that keeps some of the detail and contour. And let's go ahead and zoom in here real quick. And Let's go to that mask and look at the before and after. Look at that. That is amazing how easily that works. And if you go right here where it says amount, this is how much of that effect you're applying to her face or her skin and all that. So for this, we're gonna actually lower this to about 40% and that keeps a lot of the realism, the kind of the texture, but still smooths things out and looks really, really good. But before we get into the next feature, make sure you hit that like button real quick because this is a great technique and I feel, I personally feel it is worthy of your like and it really helps me on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell because again, it tells YouTube that this was kind of a helpful video and we love it. So don't forget to do that as well. All right, so the next technique we're going to go to create skin, create skin, create mask. We're gonna to go to people. We're going to select her and we're gonna scroll down to iris and pupil. Then we're gonna press create mask. This is going to give us her eyes. 
Now we're gonna go to the same preset, go to custom, scroll down, and we are going to do iris enhance. Now look at this. Let's go ahead and zoom in even closer. Look at this. So here's the before, here's the after. Now that makes her eyes pop. And again, it's a pretty aggressive, so we're actually gonna lower it down to about 75, I think. Good, let's exit out of that and come back. Now here is the before of just the masks of what we did. Before, after, before, after. That is a major difference and really makes her pop off the screen. So let's go to the next photo really quick. First thing we're gonna do is do a linear gradient right here to pull that attention, darken her away from the foreground, good. Create uh, another mask, select subject. We're gonna brighten her up. We're gonna lower the whites. That way her face isn't glowing as much and drop the highlights a little bit. Beautiful, duplicate and invert. Darken that down, actually not too much because we don't want it to look super brown. We're actually gonna lower the white balance on it just a shade. Good, we're gonna go to people. We're going to select the skin, person, facial, body, beautiful, create mask, go to our custom presets. And you'll, if you notice, there are a ton of other presets here. You can also create your own. So you can make an adjustment and if you really like it, you can save current settings as a new preset, which is freaking awesome. So it saves you so much time in editing. So for this one, we're just gonna do soften skin light, lower it down to about 60%. Then we're going to do that again, go to people, we're gonna select her, iris and pupil, create mask, you see how fast this is? It's so good. Go down here to iris enhance, lower it to 75, beautiful. And since we got a little teeth in this action here, we're now gonna do our teeth. So we're gonna select our teeth, create, go to custom, teeth whitening. Oh yeah, now we are talking. And here we go, before, after, before, after. And there you have it. That is a fast way to create some awesome presets and adjustments which make your editing so much smoother, makes your images pop off the screen and just makes it cooler. <laughs> I don't even know, makes it so much more badass. And just as a note before you go, if you haven't hit the like button, hit it, subscribe, that too. You know, I asked you earlier, but I am working on a Lightroom course that is gonna be so in depth and cover all of these little tricks and tips and things that you are definitely gonna want to know about it. So I'm going to link, uh, I'll put a link in the description below for, from, for some free presets. Click the link, fill out the information, you'll get on the list. So when I come out with this Lightroom course, you will be the first to know. But that's it for this video. So YouTube recommends you go watch this video. I personally recommend you go watch this video. If you wanna subscribe, you can quickly hit that button. But that's it, I'll see you in the next video.